We must discuss this in this video, from where we've come to the current day. We're going to play an old but nostalgic clip on XRP, which you haven't seen before. It talks about the 27 trillion that sits in our BOR accounts annually, and it will lead us to XRP and the graphic we folks witnessed yesterday as well. I think we can call it that. Without further ado, Bull Run is here. Now let's discuss these costs. Bitcoin, $625,192 Ethereum is up 5%, and it is currently up 5.83% over the last 24 hours. Came in at the dollar peg at 3,470 US dollars. And it did rise to a maximum of $2. Yesterday on Tether, with XRP making a stunning comeback and USDC remaining at 99 cents. 59 cents in the same what happened yesterday is visible to you. Call it what you want, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's manipulation, to be honest. I may be missing the mark on this, but Coinbase crashed once more, and as a result, XRP's price was on the verge of collapsing. That 60 cent mark, a robust and resilient mark, and Coinbase crashed. And that's exactly what happened, XRP moved last and then came first. It had a terrible, nasty crash. To 55 cents I'm going to demonstrate that with the total market capitalization of cryptocurrencies coming in at 2 trillion dollars, 334 billion, we are less than 400 billion away from the all-time high. Furthermore, the fund hasn't even begun to grow yet, when Bitcoin breaks its all-time high, that's when it will start to grow and generate a lot of FOMO, even though many people believed that this would happen yesterday. I didn't agree with myself. I advised you to look for targets. Bitcoin was expected to reach 61, 62k. Once more, we were flawless. We were flawless. Our current goal for Bitcoin is, what do as you can see, we do nothing but watch and see how the markets respond today. The entire cryptocurrency market has seen some red in the last hour due to fighting, but we will get an update on where the market is headed next because, as we all know, altcoins still need time to run before Bitcoin will see some liquidation. So let's see that XRP declines. Obtained the 599 for a brief moment, it even reached 60, but what followed? Massive wig down to the 55 cent range, indicating a recovery. It would be good to see XRP rebound and cross the 62 cent threshold at this point. Do you recall the challenges of those who remember the good old dial up days? This is where we came from, as James Rule stated. Consider this. I was most likely around. To be honest with you, that was probably almost 20 years ago. Dial-up modems were slow and took a long time to utilize the internet. It was really difficult to access anything by email and nobody really knew how to do it. You may now send an email from anywhere on the globe, demonstrating how far we have come. There are only two clicks required to access Gmail and send an email, but, for some strange reason, we are unable to transmit money internationally, and trillions of dollars are stuck in these NoVO accounts. You are therefore eligible for the monthly XRP airdrop that is sent to you on the first of every month. However, if you fail to sign over your NFT, we will not be able to provide you with the airdrop as we are unable to identify the person who purchased the NFT. We collect a snapshot of all NFT holders, and until the NFT is signed over to your wallet, we will not be able to obtain that information from the credit card that is accepted. Eastern the live broadcast is quite late at night. It is a pretty educational presentation as he covers a lot of cryptocurrency and looks at the charts. You are welcome to view it for free, however, we talked about HBAR because it is one of my holdings. You know, you are probably looking at approximately 11 and a half cents if you're looking for a better H bar purchase, and then we're going to see a little bit of a correction to what just occurred to H bar. This thing is ready to run again, and it is currently moving. We saw it touch there, and then we got the correction back into the 10 cent region. AJ stated, hey, friendly reminder at this moment. Do you not think horror is still 83.4% behind its all-time high? I believe that horror will surpass its peak since I observe many people requesting one, two, or even a three dollar target. We are currently at roughly 11 cents for H bar, if it reaches one dollar, that is a 10x. 
In these markets, I'll take a tenfold. We are there for you to use on any given day of the week, people. We signed up for this, and as I've learned, it doesn't matter how big your bag is, what matters is the number of XRPs you receive in return. I looked at him when I received each bar, and I was like, man, comparing it to my XRP bag. All I want to do is purchase enough of each bar to match my HR. You don't need to worry about it, my XRP says. Who gives a damn? Regarding bag size, it doesn't give a damn about how much XRP you receive, I can't even tell you how many hundreds of thousands, and if it merely performs a 2x or if I hold a small amount of each bar. And it performs 20x. While considering that, where am I getting my biggest returns? This is one pick I never posted, Chad said. Is this the Taker San show flaunting XRP? It was, I believe. Do you believe that means anything about what I'm doing? How do you feel? Concerning the people who were requesting between $5 and $10 XRP in yesterday's German interview, how do you feel about their financial engagement with PolySign? What are they, in your opinion? I want you to consider it when we look at this video, which is attached. 27 trillion years have passed since the no-stolen accounts were created, yet no one uses them to hear this. In addition, the banking system is costly and ineffective. Primarily because it means that I cannot instantly obtain Indian rupees from Brazil through the banking system. Instead, I must either have funds in an Indian bank account waiting to be funded or I must have a bank willing to lend me the money to pay it out. It's problematic that you can't do it now because of the way it's set up. The account needs to be controlled so closely, which is an issue. The banks where you have the correspondent number one account would charge you for that because it is costly for them. If they are lending you liquidity, they will charge you for it. And if you have any money there, they're just sitting there, which is why figures as high as $27 trillion annually have been reported. Not utilize any other accounts or sit in any other give that some thought for a moment. Given that $27 trillion is hanging around unutilized, that is an astoundingly large sum of money that is not being invested, isn't it? Ineffective, we believe you already know who I am. Miguel Vich, if I am speaking correctly. He once promised Ripple folks that he wouldn't give up until XRP had the same flow as a G10 currency. Hello to the Allah, your XRP guide. The monthly close for XRP in February will close above the 21 EMA. That is very optimistic. Hold on your focus on XRP, so let's maintain these levels. No, let's go on. Let's break above 62 cents today. It will be extremely bullish as it will allow us to access the dollar region and expand our options. We want to look at the monthly closes today, Mark, and see if the limit for XRP gets us into that $6 to $10 range. These closings each month are crucial. On your preferred cryptocurrency, how are we aware? It's simple. The bull run lasts for a year. Exchanges have already begun to go down, and Coinbase is the unsettling part of this. Lacks even a substantial amount of money. They do not process a substantial amount of money. Yesterday, their user base increased by a mere 10x, and that was it, completely nothing, that transpired during a time when everything else was exploding. Nothing happened, they were unable to manage the volume of traffic, and everyone's bounces were destroyed. Nobody was able to move cryptocurrency. It almost seems as though they are doing this on purpose to keep you from leaving. Since when has Coinbase existed? They have more than 10 years to make this right. What do you know you want to do? Both Uphold and Binance remain stable. It appears as though they don't want the US because the seed coin didn't decrease. Cryptocurrency holders and investors in cryptocurrency possess the ability to how is Coinbase still failing to break out? After 12 years, how are they still unprepared? How come they lack the necessary infrastructure? established, and this is a joke about a publicly traded corporation whose price ought to have plummeted yesterday. Imagine if Apple's website crashed during a press conference for the debut of a new product. What would take place? If it hadn't happened, I promise you that nobody would be seated at Apple. 
You've had a brand new infrastructure staff for more than 10 years, but when you start to see these, it's a sign that the bull run is about to begin. When exchanges break down, nobody can withdraw their money or sell their cryptocurrency. Yes, this is a bullish indicator. It stinks that I'm not a Coinbase user. For some strange reason, I'm unable to utilize Coinbase any longer. They permanently banned me, and all they ever did was buy Bitcoin on their exchange, but that's life. Have choices, but this is very bullish.